Hello, my name is Cassie and I'm a reference librarian here at Westerly Library in Wilcox Park. And today I'm here to show you how you can download Hoopla on your phone or your mobile device. Now Hoopla is a new service. The library actually just started to offer it and it allows you to check out eBooks, e-audiobooks, movies, television shows, and even music. Um, you can also access it on your computer by visiting www.hoopladigital.com and it's very similar to Overdrive, which is another platform that we have for borrowing digital materials. Um, the main difference between them, though, is in addition to just having slightly different collections, so they have different titles available, with Hoopla, everything is immediately available, whereas with Overdrive, there's limited copies of each item, so sometimes there's a wait time and you have to place them on hold. But like I said, with Hoopla, you don't have to do any of that. So it's really great. Anything you search for, if it is available, you can check it out right then and there. So the first step is to go to your app store on your device. I'm using an iPhone, so I need to click on the Apple App Store. And this will be slightly different for you depending on what you're using. So for example, if you were using an Android, you would visit Google Play. But if I click on App Store, I would then go to search bar type in Hoopla and we see Hoopla Digital comes up right here. You'll see on the right hand side next to Hoopla Digital there's a little button that says open. It says that because I've actually already downloaded the app so I can just go ahead and open it right up. If you haven't downloaded it you'll see something that says get and if you click on that it'll let you download it and what once it's downloaded you can then click on open just like you see here and it brings us to the login page for the app. Um, if you have already set up an account, then you would just type in your, your um, email and your password. But if you have never set up an account for Hoopla, you want to click on don't have an account, sign up, which is on the bottom. And that will open up a screen that has you enter your email and it'll have you come up with a password. And once you have those in place, then you can use them to log in. So I'm now going to click on login and it's going to bring me to the main homepage for Hoopla. So you see on the bottom left hand side, my Hoopla, that's in blue because that is the page that we're currently on. And this page shows you what titles you currently have checked out. As of right now, you're only able to check out five items per month using Hoopla. Um, that may change in the future, we'll see. But for now we have five and you see on here it says that I have four more titles remaining for the month. If you look at the bottom of the screen on this window, we can see the various options that are available for searching and for browsing for materials. So if you're looking for something in a very specific format, you can click on video. And that has both movies and television. If you look at the very top here, we're currently on the movies page but I can click on television as well and it'll give me all the television shows. So that's one option. If we go back to the very bottom of the screen, I can also click on music and that shows me all of the different options for music. Click on books and that includes audiobooks, comics, and ebooks. So those are great if you know that you want something in a specific format, then you can browse by them. If, on the other hand, you have a title or an author in mind, you can choose to do a basic search instead. So that's on the bottom right hand side, the search bar. And it does show us some of the trending searches, which are the popular ones that people are looking for right now. Um, on the search bar here, you can search by the artist or the author, the title or even the series. And there's also an advanced search option, which has even more options in there. You can search by keyword, um, when it was released, the language, the ISBN, all sorts of options. But if we're just doing a basic search, say for Harry Potter, I would type that in, click search. And as you see, it shows me all of the materials that are available through Hoopla that are related to Harry Potter. Under each of the pictures, it tells you what format it is. So this first one is music. So that's the soundtrack for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Second one here is an audiobook, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. There's also eBooks. There's a whole bunch of them here. It's possible that there's even some videos if we keep scrolling down. 
If you find an item that you do want to borrow, you're going to click on the image. So I'm going to click on Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone here in the middle. And that'll bring you to the page with more information on it. If I scroll down, it gives me the summary, the genre, even some similar materials down there. If I wanted to borrow it though, I would click on the blue borrow button. The other option you have, as I mentioned in the beginning, is to favorite it. This is something that I had favorited, so that's the heart one. So if you don't want to borrow it right now, but you know you wanna keep it in mind for the future, you can click that favorite. And then when we go back to My Hoopla, we can go to the Favorite tab and all those materials will show up there. So that's the basics of using Hoopla on your mobile device. If you have any questions or you run into any trouble, you can always contact us here at the library. You can email reference at westerlylibrary.org. That's R-E-F-E-R-E-N-C-E -E -E at westerlylibrary.org.